Hello everyone. Um, thanks all for joining me. You're really close today. I so nearly didn't get this in. I'm actually going out soon and I've literally just walked through the door. I haven't even washed my hands yet. Actually, they don't look too dirty, so <laughs> no. Um, sorry, I don't, I don't work in a hospital or anything like that and like should wash my hands. I'm a florist, so they get quite dirty. But yeah, I haven't even washed them. They smell nice. They smell like eucalyptus. So today I've got a beer that Chad, um, Chad's Beer Reviews has sent me from America and this beer I've never seen in the UK at all. Um, now I've had a look at the website to get some like information on these guys but the website is actually currently, I think they're still in the, the um, creation process because it's the, the from another brewery, I can't shake this up too much because it's, it's a real ale. Um, now I've lost it now. I just looked at it. Oh dear, what am I like? I think it's Otter Brewing Company. Um, yes. Oh, sorry, Otter Creek Brewing. It's from them, but they've actually separated the two different, um, to be honest, I don't know much about it because they're a, an American company, but so they've got the the Wallover's beers as well as the Otter Creek beers now, so they've separated it. So unfortunately, I couldn't get onto the proper website. But yeah, as I said, this one, I've never seen any of these in the UK. And I've got the Wildflower Wheat, and it's brewed with pure organic Vermont, Vermont, I hope I pronounced that right, Vermont honey. I love honey beers. So um, I'm quite looking forward to this. It's a wheat beer too. So I've got my special glass. Which is, the, well, this was sent to us from Joe in Germany. So thank you for that. Um, I'm just going to crack this open. Because that's what we ought to do. Now there's loads. Oh, I should show you the cap actually. Too. Still getting used to it. So that there. Otter Creek Brewing. Cool. I hope I haven't shaken that up now. Cool. So I'm going to give it a pour. And I'm honestly... I've gone wrong already. I'm going to get close now. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure on how to pour a wheat beer as this happens. Um, but I do know to go nice and careful, so I'm doing that. I leave the rest of that in there now, let that settle. settle. Um, somebody did say that I'm supposed to put the whole bottle in and just slowly lift it out. But I can't actually get my brain to work on how that's the safest option. Um, looks a lovely, lovely colour. Um, although it does remind me of something else, which I'm not going to go into. Uh, that's kind of spoilt the whole thing. What a shame. I had, um, two babies by caesarean. No, I'm not even going to go there. Anyway, um, no, it's a nice kind of, what kind of colour would you say? Yes, it looks like urine, but it's okay because it won't taste like it. I hope anyway. No, joking aside, kind of, it's a bit stronger than an amber. Looks like a nice colour. The head, it's calmed down a lot now, thank God. And the smell, it smells quite refreshing. It smells very wheaty. It smells very gassy actually. So I'm gonna, I know now what I should do with the sediment, so we'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna take a couple of sips of it as it is. So let's get on to it then. Oh my God. I have never, tasted honey in a beer like that before in my life.
Lalila. Never. That is unbelievable. That is really tasty. First of all, oh, pardon me, it's going to make me burp this one. First of all, I'm getting that kind of hot flavour lacing through. I've said this before, kind of a very wheaty, almost bran flakes, Weetabix kind of flavours, which obviously is the wheat. Yeah, first of all, you taste beer, and then you taste that kind of um, uh, the only way I can describe it really is kind of bran flake flavouring. Um, not flavouring, it's not flavouring at all, but that natural element of the beer tastes very similar. Then you've got the honey, the honey flavour. Now it's not as strong as it was. It was the first sip. It was really hugely apparent. It was like wow, but it's not as strong as it as the first flavouring was. I guess you get used to things pretty quick, don't you? Ice cream van. Twenty first of January. Right, so now, in here is the sediment. So I'm going to pour it in. We See how it changes your beer? It's very, very cloudy now. Change the colour ever so slightly. Uh. Oh, pardon me. So this is obviously bottled condition, so you've got the sediment and the live yeast, which create that sediment in there so I've poured it in now you can no I don't think you can see but I can see little tiny little bits floating around in there now let's give it another try It's made it seem a little bit more alcoholic, which is really strange. It's a really nice beer though. I've had a busy day at work today, so I'm just like, oh, lush. Oh, I've literally just come in as well. Um, so this is, it's all organic by the way, which is good. We don't we get the occasional organic beer here, but I, I notice here it says USDA organic. I presume that's USDA is probably a department or a certificate, if you like, of so it's really organic. It's not just somebody saying it's organic. Um, let's give you a little bit of details on the on the bottle. For example, what is the ABV on this beer? Do you know what? I don't know. I've just drunk it and I don't think it's got an ABV. Anyway, I'll read this. It says here, wildflower wheat is a delicious unfiltered wheat ale brewed with organic chamomile flowers and a hint of pure organic Vermont honey. Chamomile. <laughs> Do you know what? I thought that was something you put on your kid's chicken pox. I guess, yeah. I always put in the, the flavour down to kind of yeasty. You know, you get that yeasty banana in. It's not quite the same as that, but yeah, I guess that's it. Um, since 1997, Wallivers, I hope I pronounced that right, 
has continued a passion for exceptional ales along with a strong belief in the benefits of organic farming. Handcrafted by Otter Creek Brewing in oh, I can't read that. Middlebury, Vermont, we are proud to brew the finest organic ales using the highest quality local Vermont and domestic ingredients. Sorry about that. Um, unfortunately, there's no ABV. I'd like to know my ABV. I'd like to know what I'm drinking. I don't know why they haven't got that on there. It's a, it's a legal requirement to show the ABV in this country. Um, yeah, it's nice. I quite like it. It's probably not my... This is only my second wheat beer, so... Anyway, I've just noticed that I've talked for 11 minutes and it's time to go now. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for joining me. See you all again soon. Cheers.